coming up. As the big name holiday companies announce the death of the brochure, we test out how they'll persuade us to book their trips in the future. Oh, someone's bringing dinner to me. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it looks nice. Oh, now I can see the sea. It feels like I'm actually here. And with print out of fashion, the big holiday companies have much more modern ideas for showing us their destinations in the future. Some of them are turning to virtual reality. And this video from Thomas Cook shows the lengths they're going to in order to make virtual films about the holidays they sell. The idea is that customers going into the company's stores can get a taste of the sort of holiday they're after before handing over any cash. The technology's already been rolled out in some branches, like this one in a London shopping centre. So we're going to send you to South Africa today. So if you'd like to pop it on your head, once it's in position, I'll start the experience of South Africa for you. The brochures already seem old hat. Now it's all about experiencing your holiday using a virtual reality headset. I'm on a beach, like a really nice beach, and I can see the sea just in front of me, and it's like I can, I'm walking into the ocean. It's really nice and relaxing. A boat now, and with some nice looking ladies on a boat. <laughs> oh, someone's bringing dinner to me. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it looks nice. Thank you very much. Oh, now I can see the sea. But with it, with the, the coral. Oh, getting a cocktail. I'll take that. Thank you very much. It feels like I'm actually here. Clearly, virtual reality is simply that. And it's a long way from a true experience. But while, of course, it is possible that these images, too, could go out of date, compared with the old two-dimensional photos in the brochure, it's easy to see that this will provide a fuller, more realistic view of the holiday that you might want to book. Well, already, virtual reality is playing an increasingly important role for some of the people who are wanting to get a wider view of the world. In Nottingham, 80-year-old Dorothy is fully plugged in to the very latest virtual reality technology. And perhaps there's no surprise, as she's long been up to speed with the latest ideas and equipment. I was said the Royal Signals. Now, the Royal Signals are very important to the army because, of course, they're communications. And without communications, I'm afraid your war is already lost. And I really enjoyed the technology and, you know, talking to ships out at sea and that sort of thing. I thought it was magic, absolutely magic. Dorothy has spinal problems as well as arthritis, so her days of travel are now over. But that doesn't stop her from seeing the world the virtual way. I thought this is going to be really amazing and should my health deteriorate even further, you can be almost, well, not comatose, but you can be um, a sick person in bed, for example, and go to America, Australia, Italy, anywhere you choose. The way in which Dorothy has embraced this technology has even impressed the founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, who publicly paid tribute to her virtual travels. Dorothy is an 80-year-old grandmother living in the UK. She owns an Oculus Rift. And a few weeks ago, she posted in the official uh, Rift group on Facebook to troubleshoot an issue. And she said, uh, I'm not going to do the accent well. <laughs> I bought a Rift as I am no longer fit to go on holidays. It is fantastic, and I'm looking at spectacular worlds. Dorothy is awesome. <laughs> It's obvious that Dorothy is sold on the technology, but not all the shoppers testing it out were yet convinced that virtual reality can fully replace the tried and tested ways of booking your holiday. I prefer a normal brochure. I'd rather speak to one of the sales consultants in the showroom. You'd be on the beach, like you can see the water coming on your feet. Really realistic. People of my age group still prefer the personal touch. It's really selling you the holiday. It's not just Thomas Cook turning to technology to show off its holidays. TUI, the UK's largest tour operator, plans to replace brochures with a range of tools, including tablets, interactive maps, and online videos to help bring holidays to life. And it too is introducing virtual reality headsets to its stores. But Dorothy is clearly leading where the travel industry is following. And for many, virtual reality 
could prove the ideal way to see the world. I have to tell myself that I can't keep going on holiday every day. I mean, I couldn't even walk up a few steps, but I walked around the Sphinx. You know, this is um, it's a disabled person's dream in actual fact.